Hi, my name is Ward Trotter with Ocean Z Bait and Tackle, and in this quick video, we're going to take a look at some different drum rigs. Drum rigs are, are, are all the same principle. It's a slide rig, you know, sinker on a slide, but they're kind of like snowflakes. They all have different variations, and you can tie your own accordingly or buy some here at Ocean's East. So we're just going to go through a rundown of some of the different rigs that you can potentially use to catch drum, especially off the piers and off the beach. So the first thing when looking at these drum rigs is they're all going to have some of the basic components, a sinker, some form of slide that allows that sinker to slide and then a rig at the end. So in all these instances, when that rig is sitting on the bottom of the ocean floor, in theory, you take out the slack after you've made your cast and the weight, of course, is on the bottom and the hook, which has a piece of cut bait on it, is relatively close to the sinker slide. In theory, when a fish comes along and sucks that bait, it allows that hook to slide just a little bit so that you can get penetration on the hook set and fish on. This particular rig that we're looking at would be a J rig with a very, very short bite leader. That short bite leader will give you the advantage of having distance on your cast without it helicoptering as much. If we take a look at another rig that's really, really popular for the beaches and the piers, it's a little bit different in that this particular rig is known as a cannonball rig. So it's also another slide rig, but it ends with a swivel instead of a shock leader. So all you have to do is tie your line directly to the swivel, bait up, and there it is, ready to fish. I like this one because it's an inverted circle hook that sits on the bottom of the ocean floor. And that's great for drum, sharks even, cobia, and catfish. So there's a lot of versatility in this one particular rig. This particular rig is the same thing as a normal fish finder rig, but you'll notice it's got a much smaller hook. So that would be a great one for puppy drum, even speckled trout, bluefish, and other stuff. Normally when we're fishing for puppy drum, we typically fish not as far out, so distance is not nearly as critical. And when that bait's in the wash, it does not hurt to have just a little bit longer bite leader so that if this weight gets buried really, really deep, you still have good presentation with a little bit longer bite leader so that when that fish comes by, the bait in theory is not buried down as deep in the sand. When considering these fish finder rigs, you're basically gonna have three or if you choose four components to use a bead or to not use a bead is an argument that'll go down in the history books. But essentially, you're still gonna have to have a sinker slide and a sinker. So go ahead and put the weight onto the sinker slide. Then, the slide, you don't tie the slide, you just goes over your shock leader. In this instance, we'll say that you want to use a bead, so you can put your bead on. And what people will say that does is protect the slide from rubbing directly against that swivel, thus creating less chafe on the knot. And then simply tie the rig. I like to use a single uni knot, which knot to use is an argument that people can talk about forever, but the single uni knot is strong and simple. I can tie it on the fly, especially at night when you're tired. You finally see a few fish get caught and you really, really want to get, get into the bite and into the mix. Cut the tag. It never hurts to leave just a little bit of a tag in for insurance. And there you would have a fish finder rig. This particular one, we have a little bit longer bite leader, so you might not get as much distance on the cast. The length of a bite leader, a lot of people will argue about too. That's why they're kind of like snowflakes. They all are the same in the fact that they slide, but they're all different because one person might want to use a different brand of hook, a J hook versus a circle hook, a different length bite leader, a different kind of sinker slide, maybe even a different shape weight. So they're all the same in the fact that they slide, but if you're tying your own, it's going to be completely custom and up to you what you think works. 